In this video series, I'd like to talk about geometry and the applications of group theory to geometry. Geometry plays an important role in describing the physical world around us and has many applications to things like physics. You know you might see groups like SU2 and SU3 and SO2 and so on, which have applications to things like particle physics, which we'll talk about later. Now you might have heard of groups used in the context of algebra, and we also like to use them to talk about symmetries, and geometry shares an intriguing and beautiful relationship with group theory. But first I want to take you back in time to the ancient Greeks, so around about 360 BC, to the time of Plato. And to do that we have to talk about platonic solids, so let's talk about platonic solids. You might remember platonic solids from when you were younger, say your primary school days when you used to play around with shapes and things and build all sorts of models in class. But what's a platonic solid? Let's define it. So let's have a definition. Definition. A platonic solid. A platonic solid is a convex regular polyhedron. So it is a convex regular polyhedron. Now this might look a little bit confusing. What exactly do I mean by convex and what do I mean by regular? Well, what I actually mean by convex, well, let's have an example. If I were to draw a shape like this, so it's a sort of a star-shaped polyhedron, if I take any two points in this star, let's arbitrarily pick one here and pick one here. And let's say I want to draw a line between these two points, like this. Does this line lie inside the polyhedron or outside? Well, it lies outside the polyhedron, and since it lies outside this polyhedron, this is actually not a convex polyhedron, it's actually concave. Um, and since we found such a pair, it can't be convex. An example of one that is convex is a cube. So let's draw a cube like this. At least it looks something like a cube. Um, and if I take any two points on the surface of this cube, say one here and one here, I, I could really do it anywhere, but let's just do it here. Um, and I draw a line between these two points, like so. Then no matter where I chose my two points on this cube, no matter uh, where the line is, it will always be inside or on the surface of the cube and not outside. And for that reason, it is convex. Um, and so we call it a platonic solid because it's also regular. So what do I mean by regular? Well, when I say regular, I mean that all the faces have the same exact polygon. So every face of this cube is a square, which is a regular polygon. And that polygon, in this case the square, is all of its sides and angles the same length. With the same number of polygons meeting at each vertex. So at uh, this vertex we've got three faces meeting, at this vertex we've got three faces meeting. At every single vertex we've got three distinct faces meeting. Okay, in the next video we're going to talk about some examples of platonic solids.